All right, here we are going into the creepy, the creepy part, the church. You still, you have two doors up front you can go in, but I choose to be more dramatic and enter in this way. Yep. I do not know what happened. I know this place did get vandalized about a year and a half ago, but after the cleanup, they sure did, they sure did a good job at wrecking the place even worse. This is the saddest I've ever seen it, as a matter of fact. I've seen the glass broken out on these doors. I've seen the glass broken out on these doors before, but that's pretty bad. I didn't expect that coming in. And did somebody, dude, is that blood? I don't know what they wiped on that door, but that is. Wow, I think it actually is blood. It's disgraceful not only to the community, but like I've stated numerous times, I was raised in a Baptist family, so. You know, it's just, it's sad to see it happen to a church. I let their cigarettes here. Everybody, a lot of people seem to leave at least one personal item to mark their territory. And this, this right here, I don't know if they're working on the roof or what, but it's been cut open that way for about the last year and a half. And apparently somebody drew a new now the purple part is what used to be on there. I'm gonna stay away from that because I'm not I do not I do not dabble in any of that stuff. That's not me. But they're definitely going for the trying to make it more dramatic, creepy looking. This would be the pew. The pews and the the podium. <laughs> 